I'm Alexandra Caulfield. And I'm Ryder White. And you're watching a, a Canadian, Canadian Framelines Frame video update. Hello everyone and welcome to Canadian Framelines Retro. When we talked to you last, in December of 2012, we were still having to do quite a lot of work on the bus to make it a livable workspace. Here's just a peek. Sounds good. With still plenty of construction on our plates, we turned our sights to yet another of one of our fundraising endeavors, the illustrious New Year's Eve party. It was a fun time and a success, but we couldn't take much time off before we had to pack up and head out on the 7th of January for our first community in Pender Harbor, British Columbia. Despite taking an unplanned detour through downtown Vancouver at rush hour, and our first time ever taking a vehicle of this size on a BC ferry, we arrived in Pender Harbor with no difficulty, although it was raining to beat the band. We also had a minor failure the first morning, our inverter blew out, and I was unable to fix it, but everything went well with setting up the info session and the workshop that week, and so we were on our way. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Canadian Framelines After All. Here we are in the bus. I think we're out of focus. So here's our here's our kitchen arrangement. There are beans cooking. And there are all our hanging utensils. And our dish rack, which is kind of our entire counter space. Our little sink. And our kind of funky homemade cabinets. More cabinets. That hole, oh, you can't see, but beans! And tuna. There's coffee beans at the back of this one. Today we had our first developing session with other people in the onboard darkroom. So that was really great to sort of inaugurate that. We had the two youngest uh, participants here in Pender Harbor, uh, Rachel and Joe Wilson, came in to um, process today. So that was really great to get them in here. They are really very enthusiastic about it. And um, I think they got some really good results. I think it's uh, really magical seeing. They, they got to really see what the film was like and see the images. Um, come out on the surface of the film there and uh, Joe was pointing out he's like oh I can see where you know one section started and another began and you know there's like there's my face there and everything it's really cool just to see them I don't know sort of take to the medium the way that we took to it it is uh, I think like no matter what you choose to do it's gonna be kind of a revelatory experience for you to work with film I think, you know, nobody can, like, once you get to this point, nobody can really resist being kind of wowed by the sort of, like, simple and elegant photochemical development process. It's really, really cool. So who did you just talk to on the phone? I talked to a woman named Andrea on the phone. And uh, she was calling from the CBC radio um, from a program that they do on Vancouver, oops, from a program that they do on Vancouver Island. Um, kind of the like afternoon drive time programming. And uh, yeah, she asked me a bunch of questions and we are probably going to be on their show this afternoon. Exciting. Yeah, it is exciting. So, but, you know, now that the moment of celebrity is over, it's back to uh, sorting through piles and piles of film. What are you doing here? Um, I'm untangling two 50 foot reels of Super 8, which get tangled when you develop them uh, in the bucket style processing that we do. Um, 
which makes for, it's a faster way to get them all done and it's, you know, it's pretty efficient and fun, but it does leave you with this in the end. And so we don't make our participants untangle their own work. I don't know why we should. I'm not charging. Before we knew it, we were already at that final moment, the screening in Pender Harbor, the first one we had ever done in a community. We were both very nervous, but in the end it went off without a hitch, and we really saw some excellent, excellent films and wonderful works. And since then, we've been able to do it nine more times. What do you think of our films we saw so far? I thought they were really beautiful. I especially like um, there's a shot in uh, Tom's film where uh, he goes up on this on this tree that's kind of out of focus and it's really spindly and it kind of goes up to the upper left corner of the frame and it just kind of like fades because the fog comes into it. And then the next shot is really close on the stump and there's like rings but you can't really tell what it is if it's a flare or like the bottom of a glass or something and he zooms out to reveal that it's the stump with all these rings. And then Joe had some really great shots at two of uh, uh, birds, like, you know, kind of semi in and out of focus, seagulls and things, um, darting amongst all the dirt and scratches on the film, which is 